Right, before we begin, make a website one folder on your desktop, and in there you're going to have the images that you're going to build your website with. Make sure they've all been resized in Photoshop, and um, I've made all mine the same width and the same height to make things easier. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to tidy up this a second. We are going to go into um, text edit on the Mac or on the PC. It's a Notepad, and this is the typical thing we've done before: opening and closing tags, etc., etc. And I'm going to give it a title this time. Okay, and when we go to save this, it's really important that we save it as an index.html. Okay, and we make sure there's nothing else written on that there. Okay, save it in the same folder as your images for this example, and make sure it saves as a HTML file. Ready up. Now, next thing I want to talk to you about is this document header here is not good. We're going to use a proper one. You can download it from the site, it'll be uploaded there. And we're going to use this instead. So we delete the old HTML and we put this new tag in. It's a valid document header. It's very important. And um, from here now, I'm going to go to uh, dynamicdrive.com and get our code. So back in, on the internet, we're on dynamicdrive.com here. And the one we're going to use is the one we used in class. Just a very, very basic one, but it's an easy one to put in. So down to galleries here on the home page. And the one we're going to choose is a step, step carousel viewer. Okay. Now that pulls onto the page here. And there's a few things we need to do. It explains how it all works. We're not going to go into that right now. But the first thing we're going to do is in the head of our section, we need all this. Okay. So click on the select all button and edit copy. Then back to our document. And in the header right here, okay, I'm going to put it below the title. I'm going to paste in all that text. Now, next thing we're going to do, back in Dynamic Drive, is you'll see it says put this in the body. So we're going to take all that again, we're going to copy it, and in the body, we're going to come in here between the two body tags, and we're going to paste that in. And we're going to save as we go. Right, next thing you need to do is you need to download these images. I've already got them. And you need to download, very importantly, the engine, the JavaScript that powers all this. So I've done that already. So, um, let's get a look at what we're doing. The images that I've downloaded already are here. Okay, and I'm going to put these images in my website folder. So, see this here, the website one folder? The website one folder for me now has, they're my images I'm going to use. I've named them very simply. And it also has the step carousel JavaScript now. And it also has the circles. Okay, now, I have done an arrow left dot gif and an arrow right dot gif in Photoshop, just 50 pixels by 50 pixels, and we're going to use them in just a moment. So in my index page, I'm going to scroll down until I come across my divs, okay? And you'll see in here it's gotten URLs for your divs, Well, mine are easier than that. They're just one.jpg. See the way I'm changing it, the image source tag? Next one, surprise, surprise, two.jpg. That's what I call my images. 3.jpg, okay, 4.jpg, and the last one here I'm going to delete, but it's really important you delete it from the opening tag to the closing tag, and you don't delete the stuff below it, out it goes, okay, so that's my images put in there, which should um, bring up my images, which is good news, and it's going to save that, okay, back in my HTML page, at the very top, I'm going to scroll down again, and we're going to change the navigation images, the navigation arrows. You'll see here it's called left nav, and here's the image that needs to go in. Well, I'm just going to use my image, so my image is in here. And just to double check that I get the name right, don't want to make that mistake, I'm going to choose my, my left nav, it's called arrow left. So I'm just going to copy that name. And where it says left nav, with this big long image source here, left, I'm going to replace mine, okay, arrow left dot gif. And you're going to see then that there's the same for the right nav, okay? Which needs an, which uh, needs a different image. And this image is called arrow right dot gif. Keep everything consistent. So I got my images in and I got my arrows in. So back to the top of our HTML page again, and if you move down a little bit, you're going to see 
there's an old there's comments here which make life easy okay but the width and the height we're going to change we're going to go for 900 pixel wide one by 600 high okay and you'll also notice that there's um, other widths and heights going on in here this is the width of each panel holding content so my width once again is going to be 900 in here now one of the last things I need to do is move those arrows around so those arrows are not going to be lined up properly unless I come in here the left arrow I'm going to have at about if you guess at this minus 30 and halfway down the screen should be 300 they're just um, coordinates that you can you can change and the right arrow is going to be about minus 10 and at 300 okay and the last thing I want to do pretty sure it's the last thing is come down to the very very bottom and you'll see there's a few um, paragraphs here okay denoted by the little p at the top and the p at the bottom see these opening tags so the first paragraph I'm going to come to I'm going to delete that I don't need it and the last one I'm going to delete the last one as well from the paragraph tag to the paragraph tag here all right now make sure you leave the body tag obviously in the HTML now if I save that and preview it it should look pretty okay now here we are previewing it there's a few little things that need to be done we're just making sure that it's going to work and we're going to do a quick way to center it and we're going to remove this horrible big black border so back in our index page we're going to run a quick find Control F or Command F on a Mac and we're going to Mac and we're going to type in border and we should be able to find straight away a border handy way to find anything here okay uh, in here I'm just going to give that uh, make it a white border for the moment and change it later and um, what else do we notice was funny oh yeah we're going to center everything now this is not a future proof way to center everything but it'll save you using more CSS if your head's about to explode so we're going to run down and find the body tag in here and we're going to use this old very old way of doing it um, because we just want to get this thing done quick and I can show you a little bit more about so it's going to close with a center tag at the end of the body you see that oh shit that's a mistake excuse me language um, before the body closes that's where the center tag should be and just from the center tag is declared at the top uh, we're going to put an open center tag here so the body is now between a center tag and a closing center tag okay it's going to save that and then if we go back to our um, to our document let me preview that oops one second let's close that for a tick and open it here it will work yes okay and we're all happy thank goodness